Welcome to IPIMS, a podcast series that teaches about pediatric emergency medication safety and equips providers with strategies for quality improvement. I am your host, Dr. Tiffany Johnson of the Emergency Medical Services for Children National Resource Center. In this podcast, I'm going to introduce the topic of patient safety and review Dr. James Reason's Swiss cheese model for errors. The Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality identifies patient safety as freedom from accidental or preventable injuries produced by medical care. Unfortunately, healthcare in the U.S. is not as safe as it should be. Research indicates that between 44,000 and 98,000 deaths a year can be attributed to medical errors. Medical errors can include amputating the wrong limb, diagnostic errors, healthcare acquired infections, failure to provide a needed service, and medication errors, just to name a few. In this series, I will focus on reducing medication errors in children, specifically in the emergency medical setting. Let's review a brief case to help introduce this topic. You're working in the pediatric emergency department and a child is brought in by EMS after having a prolonged seizure at home. After the patient is stabilized, the mother tells you that the child has a seizure disorder and has been treated with carbamazepine. The mother says, Doctor, I don't understand why her medicine isn't working. My instructions were to give her one tablespoon twice daily. I measure very carefully and give her two teaspoons twice a day. Aren't there two teaspoons in a tablespoon? Have you ever encountered a situation like this while working in the emergency department? This is an example of a medication error. A medication error is any preventable event that may cause or lead to inappropriate medication use or patient harm. In our case, we have inappropriate medication use, which is the parent's incorrect administration, leading to patient harm, a prolonged seizure at home. A medication error can lead to an adverse drug event if it causes injury to the patient. When no harm is caused, we refer to this as a near miss. The key to the definition of medication errors is that they are preventable. Think about some ways in which the adverse events in this case scenario could have been prevented. Dr. James Reason, a British psychologist who has published extensively on human errors, proposed the Swiss cheese model. In this model, human systems are equated to multiple slices of cheese stacked together. Each slice of cheese represents a defensive layer to prevent errors from occurring. I recently completed my pediatric residency training at Children's National Medical Center. There are several layers of defenses built into the system at Children's National to help reduce errors. One example is Computerized Physician Order Entry, or CPOE. CPOE allows providers to generate prescriptions that are legible. Additionally, some CPOE vendors have decision support integrated into the ordering system, which can provide suggested dosing ranges, check medication dosages based on weight, and warn of potential drug-drug interactions. An additional layer of defense is a policy requiring all narcotic orders to be co-signed, including orders written by attending physicians before they are administered. This double check helps prevent over and under dosing of narcotics. In the case scenario, the medication error was related to incorrect dosing in the home setting. In some institutions, parents are given oral syringes in a demonstration of medication administration with their discharge instructions. This discharge process is another example of a layer of defense that helps prevent errors. Think about some of the defenses in place in your emergency department. The reality of human systems is that each layer of defense has its weaknesses, which are the holes in the Swiss cheese. The presence of a hole in one slice normally wouldn't result in an error, as it would be caught by the next level of defense. However, when the holes in the cheese line up, this results in a miss that can lead to a medical error. Dr. Reason proposed two causes for holes in our defenses, active failures and latent conditions. Active failures are defined as unsafe acts committed by people who are in direct contact with the patient or system. For example, If a resident clicks on the wrong medication when generating an electronic prescription, this mistake is an active failure. Another mistake would be if a nurse violated the ED procedures and administered a narcotic when the order was not double-checked or co-signed. Ignoring an alert for a medication allergy is another example. You may be thinking that you would never make a lapse like this. Tune into the IPEMS podcast on human factors to learn just how easy it is to make silly mistakes that can result in medication errors. 
In addition to active failures, there are also latent conditions that can lead to errors. Latent conditions are inevitable within the system. They originate from decisions made by those who design the system, those who write procedures, and top-level management. Adverse effects caused by latent conditions can include time pressure, understaffing, poor supervision, and fatigue. These conditions create holes in the Swiss cheese, and they often go unnoticed within the system until they align with active failures to result in an adverse outcome. The Swiss cheese model help explains why errors occur. It focuses on problems within the system rather than placing blame on an individual. Thank you for listening to this episode of IPEMS. To learn more about medication errors in the pediatric emergency medical setting, please listen to other podcasts in the IPEM series. The IPEM series is a production of the Emergency Medical Services for Children National Resource Center in partnership with the Alliance for Pediatric Emergency Medication Safety.